we are Emma, Sean, Rex and Maggie. Join us as we explore the UK and beyond in our old motorhome Rene. In this episode, we join the NC500, find a beautiful falls walk and get some breathtaking views. Welcome to Golfby Beach. We've moved on from Culloden Mall and now we've come to the seaside. So I've now got a smile on my face and the dogs have had a good run round. So we arrived in Goldsby. Um, we got all set up, we had some lunch and we thought we'll just take the dogs down the beach for a quick, you know, short walk and let them have a bit of a play off lead and we've ended up walking down the rest of the high street out the other end along to the Big Burn, Gosby Big Burn waterfalls hike and we're at halfway up so poor Sean isn't getting his restful afternoon <laughs> I never get a restful afternoon. <laughs> I had one yesterday, so that's yeah, all right. Yeah, that's all right. So, yeah, so we shall see what these are all about. It's a beautiful walk full of wild garlic and bluebells, and it's really quiet. Not very busy at all for a bank holiday Sunday. Right up our street. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I'm going up a hill now. So, when we get to the waterfalls, we'll show you. The Golsby Big Burn Walk is situated at the northern end of Golsby Village. This hidden gem is a 2.6 km easy circular trail with bridges and boardwalks. The walk snakes through ancient woodland, wild flowers carpet the floor with the sounds of birds singing all around. The trail takes you via a dramatic gorge that as you enter turns the air refreshingly cool and damp. is a stunning waterfall that sits hidden amongst the rocks, made visible by a narrow walkway.
So we found a little pub uh, and I just thought I'd do a little review of my beer because this is really good. It's the Bell Haven Best. Oh yeah, that's good. Cheers. Camping at Goldsby is a small air-style motorhome stopover with electric hookup, water and waste facilities and sits on the southern edge of Goldsby village. With a secure barrier entry, all hard standing, toilets and a single shower, it's the perfect stop to explore Goldsby and the surrounding area. The last lad got locked in the toilets in the shower, so was keeping an eye out. Woo! Four minutes! Four minutes shower. <laughs> Anything to save a pound? Anything. I've got a pound. <laughs> got a pound. I've got a pound. Yes. Uh, you, you got out then all right? Yeah. Yeah, I got out all right. It's, yeah, it's, it's really difficult. You turn it locked, turn unlock. Oh. Lock it sides. Okay. There you go. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, so Highly motivated by the pound shower. <laughs> Quickest shower in the West. <laughs> well done. So yeah, so there you go. So you can, the, the, there you go, the, the gauntlet is thrown. Can you do I can do a shower, shower, I just can't wash my hair as well. Well, my hair doesn't really count, does it? No, it's not much of it. No, exactly. Okay, cool. Well done. Thank you. Tell everyone what just happened. Well, I just took the dogs out for a little wee on the grass pitch, uh, grass area next door to here, and I saw this big black cat. How big? Well, there was a traffic bollard, and its head was like at the top. Of, so traffic bollards are this big. Its head was at the top of the reflective bit, and mm. its body was in the middle of the reflective bit. So I would say it's probably about the size of a a working lab so quite like thick bodied with a long tail and it was definitely a cat it looked like a big black cat never cool. seen one of them before well you came running back didn't you to yeah. get me and my binoculars to see if we could uh, yeah. spot it but it, it gone it had done one by then hadn't it but yeah mm. so yeah and uh, Emma's done some research and apparently it's uh, what is it Keller's cat potentially. There you go. Which is a hybrid of a domestic cat and the Scottish wildcat. And I've just done the wildcat trails today. <laughs> Mountain bike trails. Mountain bike. So yeah. So uh, and it's mm. not too many shandies. I definitely <laughs> did see it. Yeah, you don't normally uh, see stuff like that, do you? So no. that was a bit of a surprise. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and mm. it's uh, about the same size. We went to. Um, a wildlife place in the New Forest and they had some lynxes there and it looked to be about the same sort of size as that so that's why I rang back and asked Emma to come yeah, she's got binoculars out get, yeah. to get me over there but I didn't see it so you may be the only person to see a Keller's cat I think that's what they're called in this area for quite a long time who knows there you go who knows the wild cats came to see you <laughs> you did. Well, everybody says that you're so good with animals. There you go, it's the whisperer. Now I'm the wildcat whisperer. <laughs> good morning. Uh, we had a great day yesterday, seeing the Golsby burn and the waterfalls, and yeah, we had chip, chippy tea. It was nice. So today I've come out on a bit of a hike with the dogs. We'll see how far we get but we're going to try and get up to the Duke of Sutherland Monument but it's quite high and Maggie's tired and I'm tired so Rex is just the machine so he'll go, go on forever but anyway and Sean's gone out mountain biking um, just behind me here is where you park to start the mountain bike trail so I've just seen Sean 
he rode up here from where we're staying um it's just like five minute ride i would imagine and i've just seen some chaps come down this little path here which is obviously the end of the descent so i'm hoping it has a good day um so we're, anyway we're gonna track up this path and see how far we can get Ben Braggy is a hill that dominates the skyline overlooking Goldsby and the east coastline. There are a couple of ways to walk up the hill and I took the more difficult route up which is a 5km route out and back. This route is steep and considered a more moderate to challenging hike. So we've made it to this footbridge, um, which I reckon is probably about four fifths of the way up. We've not got far to go, but look at that view. It's quite warm today. I thought I'd be complaining it was too cold, but no, it's quite warm. So I think we'll just do the last bit. Maggie's burying herself in a bush. Get out, because there's ticks and um yeah we'll head up to the top and then i think we'll sit down and have a little rest um we've just got that bit to do so yeah <laughs> the hike takes you through woodland pine forest and open moorland to the top of ben Braggy, where the controversial huge hundred foot duke of sutherland statue stands however the most impressive thing is the view from the top which is nothing short of spectacular and worth every huff and puff to get up there. Well, we all made it up here. Um, there's the statue behind me in the sunshine. It's quite big, um, surveying the area. What a beautiful view up here. I mean, that walk was tough for me. Um, it's really steep. And uh, I had help with Rex <laughs> pulling me up um, and I still found it tough, but what an amazing view. Literally almost 360 degree views up here. It's just amazing. The sea's all turquoise, it's sunny today. There's a little bit of wind, so apologies for that. But yeah, the colors are just incredible up here um definitely my favorite view in scotland so far and that might surprise a few people but by far this is it's got everything you've got mountains in the background you've got the sea out there you've got the beautiful moors with the colors of the gorse and um other forests and things it's just it's just beautiful just an amazing view and well worth the hike up here definitely
we're starting to head down now. Um, you can see the monument properly in the background. It's so big, it's really hard to take photos of from actually where you are actually at it. So anyway, so I just wanted to show you the path that we came up. I was too exhausted to film, but this is the path we're taking back down again. It's quite steep, so I would recommend decent footwear, hiking poles if you need them, and your wits, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not an easy hike. Anyway, we'll see you down the bottom. Hello, Rick. Look who it is. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I'm knackered. Oh, yeah, I'm not surprised. That is a long way up to the top. It's not just a long way. It's steep. It is proper steep. It's proper steep. It is proper steep. But yeah, the view was amazing from the yeah. top. One Worth of the best. It. One of the best views, I think, for I, me. Well, for me, I, I said at the top, for me, Scott, it's the be best Scottish view I've had, I yeah. think. Yeah, with the sea yeah, and the estuary and all of it in Mountains there. Mountains in the background. Mount yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, showing off again, Scotland. <laughs> and yeah, showing off again. Yeah, Goldsby, big thumbs up from me. Join us next time as we head to Fortrose to check out the local wildlife. <laughs>